Yes, let's give the band a big round of applause. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the graduation exercise for the class of 2021. At this time, we ask that you please stand for the national anthem. Well, good afternoon once again, and hello. I am Jason McVoy, principal of Oak Ridge High School and Middle School. And on behalf of the entire staff, I would like to thank you all for being here today. Wow, what a great day this is, and what a relief it is to finally make it. This senior class has done something like none of us have seen before, and gone through adversities that many of us have not ever had to witness. So just for the fact that they've endured so much, and they're sitting here today. Let's give them one gigantic round of applause. As you all know, this year has been incredibly challenging, and I wanna thank the senior class and parents for your understanding, flexibility, and willingness to help make this day possible. In observance of today's ceremony, the senior class is requested, we start our program with a prayer. Stephanie Mueller will lead us in prayer at this time. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to learn and the experiences that we have shared over these past four years. We thank you for the bonds that we have built with our peers and for the teachers and coaches who have guided us to this day where we are able to graduate. As we celebrate a new beginning in our lives, we ask your blessing on the Oak Ridge class of 2021. We ask you to continue to lead us to people who will guide us to success and support us in our failures. We pray that you will keep us safe as we continue to grow and move into the next phase of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you so much, Stephanie. And at this time, I would also like to introduce the individual seated behind me at the, at the podium. Please stand as you're introduced and remain standing. Our board members, President Craig Scott, Vice President Jeff Cardis, Secretary George Tendall, Trustee Cheryl Harvey, Trustee Douglas DeWitt, Trustee St Tammy Stolberg, and our Superintendent Tom Livesey, as well as today's guest speaker, Angelina Mosier Salazar. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you. I would also like to thank the top students from our junior class who are serving as our honor guard today and persisting with this ceremony. One announcement for all of you in attendance, Geskis Photography will be here today 
taking a five by seven photograph of each graduate courtesy of the Oak Ridge School Board, and it will be mailed to your home as soon as it's ready. Also, for picture taking, we ask that you stay where you're seated during the ceremony, and parents, guests, and friends are invited to meet your graduate in the parking lot following the ceremony. We also have Threadgill Productions with us today recording the ceremony, and that will be posted as well as it's live stream right now. So, and now I'm pleased to welcome this year's salutatorian, Anna Barnes, who will give her salutatorian speech. Anna. Hi. All right, so first I want to say thank you to my family, especially my mom who supported me even through this rough year. Also to my teachers, especially Mr. Keesgan, Mr. Wood, Mr. Green, and Ms. Mathis who helped me with opportunities gave me advice and educated me in a way that allowed me to figure out what I stand for and what I want to do in my life. For most of us, this small community is all we know. We are about to move on to see the real, real world, <laughs> which is more than the superficial culture thrown in our faces the past 12 years. We will make mistakes where our consequences will be more than a detention here and there. The growth we have made as people is subjective but I have a feeling there's a lot more to come. High school provided me with some of my best moments of my life and some of the worst. Either everything was going my way and I was on top of the world or I was being suspended twice in one week and feeling like the world was against me. What this year has taught me specifically is that the recognition of mental health in our age is so important. I hadn't realized how significant it was until I went through the most mentally draining year of my life. While this year meant more days off, it also meant that we had to work through our schedules changing constantly, and we had to accept that this was life. The pandemic is bigger than us. It doesn't care about what or who it took, and we can't change that fact. We had to accept that our senior year wasn't going to be what we had imagined, and it was a hard pill to swallow, but we did it with maturity. This doesn't mean we weren't affected though. The mental blocks, the loss of motivation, the dread I felt waking up knowing I had to go to school. When education begins to feel like a chore and it isn't fun anymore, you realize what the last four years have been like for those who never had fun at school, for those who feel alone when they are here. It highlights the importance of support within the school from teachers who are impartial and don't judge you for everything you do wrong. You miss a couple days, they'll ask you, how are you doing, not what's your excuse. Life is like growing up without glasses and then being prescribed after several years. You see the world differently and you realize it wasn't what you had thought. Whether you let it change you for the worse or the better is within your control. You can appreciate the change or reject it. So fake the mentality you wish to have and eventually you won't be faking it. Let's accept the change like we did this year and choose to appreciate it. Thank you, Anna. Well, all of us in the school community are proud to have our students go into the, their lives and become successful. Our tradition over the years is to invite a former graduate of Oak Ridge High School has become successful in their chosen profession to be our graduate speaker. And today's speaker certainly meets that criteria. Angelina Mosier Salazar graduated from Oak Ridge High School in 2009, and she has traveled the world since telling stories from the jungles of Costa Rica, the mountains of Lebanon, and from the chaos of Cairo. Currently, she's a reporter at Milwaukee's NPR station, where she broke news recently of the disproportionate numbers of COVID-19 cases affecting the Latino community to protests in Kenosha, Wisconsin. And her work is aired on various NPR programs, including Latino USA, All Things Considered, and This American Life. Angelina holds a degree in comparative cultures and politics with a double specialization in Muslim studies and peace and justice studies from Michigan State University. So at this time, let's welcome Angelina. Thank you. I am honored to be here and have the opportunity to speak with the future legacy of Oak Ridge High School. 
I want to start off by acknowledging what a difficult year we've all lived through. I don't know one, one person who is walking away from this year unscathed. We have lost loved ones. We have lost time. We have faced depression. We have faced isolation. But we're here. So congratulations, Oak Ridge graduates, staff, and teachers. After looking back on such a difficult and unprecedented time in our history, I wish I could confidently come to you with words of import, of words that would resonate. And I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that today. But what I am going to do is tell you a story. My mother is from Costa Rica. She grew up poor. Her mother died when she was five, leaving her and her six siblings in a small house in the jungle with dirt floors and no electricity. But here's the thing. My mother never felt poor. And she never raised me to feel bad about my circumstance. She always raised me with a deep sense of dignity and gratitude. She taught me that I am someone. And to not feel bad for what I don't have, but to be grateful for what I do have. Oak Ridge graduates, you are a privileged class. You have a high school education from one of the richest, most powerful countries on the face of the earth. There are people I know that would die to be in your position, to have an education from the United States, to call themselves American citizens. But I'm also not going to stand here and pretend like I didn't grow up in the same community that you all did. There's a saying for this in Spanish. No voy a tapar el sol con un dedo, which means I'm not going to cover the sun with my finger. I know what challenges are ahead of you. For one, if you manage to graduate with an associate's degree, chances are you will be the first person in your household to do so. Because we live in a community where the predominant level of education is a high school diploma. We live in a community where our neighbors, family members live in poverty. Right here, right where we are standing in this area, 20% of the population lives in poverty. And if that seems high to you, it's because it is. That's almost double the national average. So yes, we have real challenges in our community. We have real challenges in this country. But graduates, I'm asking you to not look away, to not cover the sun with your finger. I'm asking you to confront the world and to do so knowing that you are not helpless. You are not powerless. What you choose to do in this life matters and you can make a difference. You must make a difference. And that lesson I learned from a woman who grew up on dirt floors. To the class of 2021, congratulations. You are now being inducted into a group of graduates who despite educational opportunities, despite poverty, have gone on to do great things. Today, Oak Ridge graduates are entrepreneurs, nurses, therapists, artists. So graduates, carry the mantle forward. Make this world a better place for yourselves and for those who come after you. You are our future, and you are our hope. Thank you. Thank you so much, Angelina. And at this time, I'd like to welcome the Oak Ridge Choir under the direction of Mr. David Abdicator, and they will now sing Remember Me by Kristen Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez, arranged by Roger Emerson.
Thank you, Oak Ridge Choir. Let's give them a big round of applause. Well, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate all of you who are graduating today. You can be very proud of your accomplishment. I'd also like to recognize the parents and families of today's graduates, which I'm sure that without your guidance and support, they would not be receiving their diploma today. The class of 2021 in particular is special in many ways. This class has had exceptional success in the classroom and enjoyed many victories on the field of play, all dealing with a pandemic year. The outstanding projects as well of the Student Council, the Arts, the Honor Society, many athletic team successes are just a few examples of the exemplary work of this class. What will stand out and probably be the most remembered is what this class has had to go through this past year and a half. And this class has certainly risen to the occasion and dealt with all of the adversity that has come out of these events. What I've been most impressed with is maturity and grace that you have demonstrated and getting through these challenging times and making it where you sit today. At this time, I'm pleased to acknowledge the achievements of our salutatorian and valedictorian and present them their honor chords. First, representing the class of 2021 with a grade point average of 4.017 and 93.815 class rank points is salutatorian Anna Barnes. Anna is the daughter of Amy Barnes and Gary Barnes, and Anna is the founder of our Oak Ridge Interact, a member of Link Crew and National Honor Society. She's participated in cheer, soccer, and bowling during high school, and Anna will attend Michigan State University to major in journalism and minor in a foreign language as part of MSU's Honor College. Anna has also received the Spartan Advantage Scholarship covering her full tuition and fees. Congratulations, Anna. Yes. She's got one more thing to hold on to today there. <laughs> All right, and next, our valedictorian with a GPA of 4.091 and class ranking points of 93.865 is Soli Seawald. Soli is the daughter of James and Kaylin Seawald, and she is a four-year soccer and volleyball player, has been on student council all four years, participated in elite crew for two years, and National Honor Society for two years, and is the NHS president. Soli was a member of the Eagle Band for three years as well. After graduation, Soli plans to attend the University of Michigan to study psychology. She's received the Michigan Hale Scholarship covering her full tuition. She is also a recipient of the Building a Better World Scholarship and the Lieutenant Colonel Glockson Valedictorian Scholarship. Congratulations, Soli. Yes. And there are many, many other students who have qualified for awards this year, and they have been acknowledged in our Decision Day Assembly as well as our Senior Awards Assembly last week. Our top 10 will again be acknowledged during the presentation of diplomas. As far as our graduates' future plans, they've got some big plans. 22 are entering a two-year college. 26 are entering a two-year college with plans to transfer to university to complete their bachelor's degree. 20 are planning to enter a four-year college or university. 15 are entering the world of work. Three are entering the military. Eight are entering a technical or trade school. Five are entering an apprenticeship. And five are exchange students for returning home to their country. Finally, I'd also like to have the following students that have made a commitment to join the armed forces and stand to be recognized. Sadie Bloom for the National Guard, Shaw Raymond for the Marine Corps, and Christian Welborn for the Air Force. Let's give these students a big round of applause for the service to our country. At this time, it's with great honor to present the Oak Ridge Band under the direction of Mrs. Sarah Eldred, who will be playing Black Forest Overture by Michael Sweeney.
wonderful job. Let's give him a big round of applause. And now I'm pleased to announce our valedictorian, Sully Seawald, will address us at this time. Sully? Good afternoon. On behalf of the class of 2021, I would like to thank our parents, guardians, teachers, and all other supporters for helping us to be here today, where we can finally say we did it. I would like to personally thank my mom and dad for being the most supportive and loving parents I could have ever asked for. You guys have shaped me into the person I am today, and I am forever grateful for the two of you. Although our senior year was not exactly what we expected, there are some good things to take out of it. First, we got to sleep in on more days than any other class in senior history. We thought that year that had like 15 snow days was crazy, if only the kids we were then could see us now. Although our senior year, oh, sorry, more importantly, our senior year prepared us to be adaptable. With the constant change of whether or not we would be in school at Navy Good any given day or week, in the ever-changing restrictions, we have all learned, at least in some capacity, to just roll with the punches. We might have complained, but we all managed to figure out how to navigate our way through so that we could be sitting here today. Having the ability to adapt to constantly changing situations is an extremely important skill to have. I can guarantee that each of us will have times where things unexpectedly change and we need to adjust our own lives to make everything work. Life is unpredictable. This year, we have learned that more than any other. I think that through it all, we still managed to make the best of, of everything. We parked badly in the parking lot, drove quads and even a bobcat to school, and managed to have an amazing senior prom. I hope that, like me, you can all look back and find some good memories from this year. Being able to find the good in things will serve us well mov moving forward. And I would also like to remember this moment with a photo of us all. I really believe that we are set up to take on the world. We have persevered through high school despite all the challenges thrown at us, and I know that each and every one of us is capable of making a difference. Wherever you go from here, college, trade school, military, workforce, strive to be the best version of yourself. I hope that you all find success and happiness. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Mr. Tom Livesey, Superintendent of Schools, will now certify the graduates of 2021. Good afternoon, everyone. It's absolutely wonderful to see everyone's faces and smiles without masks. Yeah. <laughs> Families seated closer than six feet apart. Yeah. <laughs> as we celebrate our graduates today. So graduates, to you, it's absolutely fantastic to see you in your well-deserved and earned caps and gowns. I have this one thing to say to all of you. If you can graduate under these conditions that you endured this school year, your future is very bright. And I'd like to steal a few of the words uh, from Amanda Gorman, Presidential Poet Laureate, she said, life threw a bunch of dirt all over you, but you were a seed that grew. That is the story that you have to live before you. I'm so proud of you for your hard work and determination to reach this major milestone in your life. It took persistence, resilience, and the support of your family, your teachers, and our staff to earn this opportunity. I also want to take a brief moment to share that after a year like this, it is a great reminder how important it is and how incredibly thankful I am to have a community as supportive as the Oak Ridge community. Your grace, understanding, and flexibility under this constantly changing circumstance that we were dealt has been absolutely amazing. 
This community has a great future ahead. I'm confident of that. So with all that said, it is a time to officially grow the Oak Ridge Alumni Pool by certifying their diplomas. So Mr. President and members of the Board of Education, I do hereby affirm and attest that the students seated before you this afternoon have officially met the requirements as set forth by the Board of Education and the State of Michigan. Having met those requirements, they are now entitled to receive their Oak Ridge Public Schools High School Diplomas. Let's all congratulate the class of 2021. And at this time, we've come to the point where you're all what you've been waiting for. The class of 2021 will receive their diplomas with our Oak Ridge board members making the presentations. Soli Ann Seawald, valedictorian, summa cum laude, 2021 scholarship award, National Honor Society president, building a better world scholarship, Lieutenant Colonel Glockson, valedictorian scholarship, and University of Michigan Hale Scholarship. Anna M. Barnes, salutatorian, summa cum laude, Spartan Advantage Scholarship, Honors College Scholarship, Michigan Resident Scholarship, and Lieutenant Colonel Glockson, salutatorian scholarship. Ryan Catherine Fry, Summa Cum Laude, National Honor Society, Building a Better World Scholarship, Community Foundation Scholarship, and University of Michigan Hale Scholarship. <laughs> Hayden Riley Rule, Summa Cum Laude, National Honor Society, 2021 Leadership Award, and Muskegon Promise Scholarship. Emma Jane Fry, Summa Cum Laude, National Honor Society, and, excuse me, Community Foundation Roland and Irene Dam Scholarship. Michaela May Lott, summa cum laude, an MCC early college student. Delaney G. Lynn, summa cum laude, and Muskegon Promise Scholarship. Anne Marie Elizabeth Santos, summa cum laude, National Honor Society, and MCC Early College student. <laughs> Stephanie Barbara Mueller, summa cum laude, Community Foundation Ruth Swarick Scholarship, and Muskegon Promise Scholarship. <laughs> Christian D. Wellborn, summa cum laude, and Forever Post 9-11 GI Bill. Next, I'm gonna welcome our student speaker to continue on with our presentation of diplomas. Sarah M. Aldering. Caleb Joseph Alstein. Ty Henry Asmus. Xavier Michael Bailey. Braden John Beatty. Emma Jean Blackburn. Sadie K. Elizabeth Bloom. Caitlin Ruth Bordeaux.
Jaden Amaya Rayan Bowman. Maya Luisa Breckenfelder, exchange student from Germany. Krista Jo Brewer. Manon Lynn Marie Brott. Joseph Eric Budnick. Isaiah Gabriel Castarina. Brenna Lee Serka. Olivia Brielle Clark. Ty Joseph Coletta. Mackenzie K. Conran. Benjamin Mason Cooper. Michael Cruz. Ethan A. Daly. <laughs> Jacob R. Danachek. <laughs> Caleb Sean Dean. <laughs> Abigail Rain DeForest. Robert Allen Depender. Cameron J. Dial. Caitlin A. Eitenire. Jacob Matthias Elizondo. Miracle Vani Evans. <laughs> Haley Faith Galagos. <laughs> Itana Garcia Lobo, exchange student from Spain. Olivia May Harger. <laughs> Gavin Jacob Hayescamp. <laughs> Hayden M. Hines. <laughs> Christian Hooker. Devin James Jepson. Andrew L. Johnston. Bryce William Cardis. Bradley S. Keeler. Cassandra M. Keeler. Gage Thomas LaMadeline. Lena Marie Leatherby. Melissa R. Lewis.
Leah Ann Lowry. Gina Myrtle Lundquist. Kirsten Rose Maycumber. Luke Allen Martin. Mark Patrick Mira. Brianna Lynn Madaco. Ethan W. Miller. Michaela Lene Minzy. Tanner A. Nichols. Seth Allen Norman. Jade Lynn Norton. Tristan Renee Personet. Cameron Ray Peterson. Seth William Plummer. Kaylee M. Prescott. Shaw Anthony Raymond. Dakota Michelle Reynolds. Brooklyn Jean Ronning. Alexandra M. Rosales. Faith J. Rubel. Jillian Elizabeth Rusco. Inez Sanchez Diaz, exchange student from Spain. Tyler Andrew Siegert. Alexandra Sully, exchange student from Norway. Javiera Serrano Escobar, exchange student from Chile. Hannah Raylan Shotwell. Trenton C. Slater. Hunter Michael Smith. Mackenzie Elaine Stein. Kyla Ray Stewart. Diego Tristan Stork. Jennifer N. Stovall. Yeah. 
Mackenzie Marie Swartz. Liliana Atenas Marielena Tella Clark. Gabrielle Lee Tennant. Abigail Elgina Tyndall. Bruce E. Japkiss. Cash Allen Turner. Jayla Jolie Wade. John Wyatt Walker. Monica Joe Whipple. Audrey Amaya Wildig. Anthony Joseph Woodring. And Tatiana Marie Yanez. Good job, class of 2021. Now I'm pleased to announce Soli Seawald will now lead the class of 2021 in the traditional changing of the tassel. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of 2021, our newest alumni. <laughs> 